Here, I want to see my reflection on that floor when you're done with it. Why are you so mean to me? Because there's two kinds of people in this world. People who look like you and live on food stamps and welfare and deserve to be treated like the criminals you are. And people who look like me, who were born rich and beautiful. Bitch, you ain't beautiful? Look at you! Okay, let me be honest. I never seen anyone uglier than you, bro. And somebody get their child, bro. They're literally being racist in front of this black woman, okay? Like, calm down. And what's wrong with the sound effect in the background? It's like, bro. You're black and ugly and don't deserve to be here. How about you don't deserve to be this nuts? Don't deserve to be in what? Where is my food? It's been 30 minutes on- 30 minutes? And not even 1.2 seconds on the table? You start to complain? Just wait there. Just have patience. Calm down. Fucking nasty bitch. I'm sorry. I was trying to make it the best dish that I can. But it's ready now. You see, I made you tacos. You made me tacos? Yes. Who in the world likes talk? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> there is no way that sh I think that she was about to say what I think she was about to say. There is no way that she doesn't like tacos. I, first of all, I'm not a peasant, okay? So, second of all, I love tacos. Okay, I don't know what you think you are. Saying that you don't like tacos, okay? Because they're the best thing in the world, okay? Okay? Mom! Shut up! Food is for peasants and slaves like you. She already disrespected me, bro. Oh my gosh. What is she doing to the tacos? I would have ate them straight on the spot, bro. Tacos are yummy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You fucking bet. Did you really think I was going to eat something as disgusting as that? They're not disgusting. You didn't even try them. I don't need to try them. Now, since you failed at doing your job correctly, I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. You see these two envelopes? One of them has your pay, and the other one's your Christmas bonus. And for your Christmas bonus, I'm going to have to keep it to teach you a lesson. Plus, people like you don't First of all, you got to try the tacos. Second of all, her brother's dying from cancer. What? Why? Why? And you, you don't need that money. You don't. None at all. I need that money. You see, my brother has cancer. And we're going to use that bonus to pay for his treatment. Does it look like I care about your stupid sick brother? I'm glad he has cancer and I hope he dies. That way, there's less cockroaches like y'all in this world. Please don't say things like that. I mean, he's the only person I have left in this world. Shut up. I don't care to hear your dumb sob stories. I'm keeping the money and that is final. Plus, I need the money to buy a new Gucci purse. <laughs> no, please, please don't do this, I need- like I said, her brother got cancer. You can't do this to her. You don't need a Gucci bag. How, what kind of child are you? Who raised you like this? And the way she kneeled down like that. Oh my gosh, she got me dying. Why is she kneeled down like that? Just a bag. Oh. This, I need that money. The baby's nose is bleeding. Oh. Just pinch your nose. Oh my There's gosh, you stupid. My brother will die. Please. What are you doing? Let go of me, you scum. What is going on here? Nothing, Mom. Yeah, what is going on here, hmm? Um, I was, Lydia just fell and I was just helping her get up. Is that true, Lydia? Yes, Mrs. Brooks. I was cleaning and accidentally dropped the food and Guinevere was helping me get up. See, Mom? I was just doing what you taught me to always help people. But mom, why are you back? I thought you weren't going to be back until later tonight. I was. But you see, yesterday I had security cameras installed in this house to keep us better protected. And look what I found. Now get to work, you dirty slave. Uh, mom, I can explain. The thing is- Zip it. I don't need an explanation. 
This video doesn't lie. How could you treat Lydia so badly? She is a hardworking person that has never given us anything less than her best. Lydia, I am so sorry for how my daughter has treated you. You didn't deserve any of it. That's okay, Mrs. Brooks. No, it's not. No one should ever be treated this way. And Gwen, I had planned on surprising you with a brand new car for Christmas, but after what I've seen, you don't deserve it, so I'm giving it to Lydia. What? You can't do that. Oh, Mrs. Brooks, I can't take that. I can do whatever I want. And Lydia, no one deserves a car more than you. You are so hardworking, and it's the least I can do after everything my daughter has done. Thank you so much. You just don't know how much this means to me and how much this is going to help my family. Lydia, don't mention it. You deserve it. Lydia was able to pay for Marcus's surgery and now had a brand new car to go to work. She no longer had to walk over two hours every day. Mrs. Brooks punished Guinevere by making her help Lydia clean up the house for the next- Mm-mm-mm, I should have known. Child labor was the key of the story. Hmm. Hey kid, what are you doing? Get back to work! Okay, okay.